Hi guys, I hope you're well. So today we are going to be talking about the Celtic Oem, what it is, how to use it, and whether it's relevant today. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sophia, and since about the end of 2019, I've been seriously studying um, a lot of natural world, like crystals, animals, and spirituality related stuff. Um, and my background many generations ago is Celtic, and so I'm very interested in uh, reconnecting with the past. I don't necessarily think that we need to recreate the past, but I think there's so much wisdom that's been lost, and we can look at what's transferable and also work with what wasn't good. So the OM is basically a 13 moon system of uh, looking at the year. So if we have a sort of wheel of the year and four seasons, um, the traditional Gregorian calendar right now has 12 months. And so on the uh, Celtic Oem calendar, there would be 13 months. Um, so a little bit about the culture that the Oem comes from so we can understand the Oem better. So the Oem was used by the Celtic Druids up until the time when the Romans invaded. And so in Celtic culture, um, you had a group called the Druids who were sort of like the medicine people, the spiritual advisors, and they were based on trees, the, the knowledge and perspective, the wisdom that the Druids um, drew upon was trees, the natural landscape of Ireland. And there's a lot of evidence that Celtic, because like if you look at a map of the world, you know, um, if sort of the UK is here and Africa is here, um, they seem quite far right now, but there's a lot of evidence that like all throughout Europe and the Middle East and Africa and probably the whole rest of the world, people were um, trading and exchanging knowledge peaceably because the plants that the druids were using were also being used in other places like there's just so much um, shared use and, and similarities in herbal preparations like there's so much evidence that people were working together um, on this knowledge so yeah the um, the druids knowledge was based on the natural landscape of the Celtic lands and pretty much less than 1% of that natural rainforest, its temperate rainforest, uh, exists today. So that combined with the fact that like they didn't write anything down except like they didn't write anything down. They had this OM, this way of writing, um, but they didn't write stories. So pretty much all that we know of the Druids comes from the Romans who were invading and so one really has to uh, do one's own research and have your own point of exploration in this because there isn't a lot of approved official knowledge on what the Druids were doing. So in the original Oem there are 16 and then there were a few more added later but the original 16 are all trees so basically if this is the wheel of the year again each one of these would be one tree. And so the tree that it represents would, it's not necessarily like only in bloom in that season, but for some reason the tree is significant to that season. And each tree's energy, um, you know, it teaches you something different. And it sort of goes along with the energies of the year. So for example, the trees in the more winter year, or more winter parts of the year, um, their teachings are much more about like inner journeys and astral protection and astral journeying and things like that. Whereas then once you come into more like the February, March area, you know, what we would call Easter, um, it starts to be much more about like the feminine, the growing in the belly, the, um, fertility coming in. So basically there are three ways to work with the OM. Uh, you can look up your birth month. And it's almost like the zodiac, right? Like people born under that sign can especially embody those energies. That's the role that they have to play in relation to other humans. Um, 
you can also use them as a system of divination. So, for example, I have a couple of them written here. And if you had a whole set or like an oracle deck or even just like on sticks or something, you can shuffle them um, and ask questions um, and then, you know, interpret the message based on the tree's energy. Or you can just acquaint yourself with all of the trees <laughs> and all of their energy over time because they really do all have very important teachings for us. And, you know, I'm, I'm very fascinated by this system and yet I live in Canada, not Ireland or Scotland anymore. And so the landscape is a little bit different and it is, you know, not thousands of years ago. So I think that this way of tuning into much more natural patterns like um, going off the lunar cycle rather than just days on a calendar um, and acquainting ourselves with the energies of the trees I think that that is really important and so it's not necessarily about like recreating and following to a T what the druids were trying to do um, but you know like the healing of the nation is in the trees, the tree of life, like we as humans are so, you know, tree-like. Hum trees really are the biggest structure in the natural world besides humans and rocks. And so humans have had a very uh, deep relationship with trees over our the de evolution of our societies. And 